track the makers of a flagging Dallas-inspired soap. Hello. It was Dynasty calling, and time for Joan's defining role as ball-busting bitch Alexis Carrington. You just knew that she was going to play it for everything it was worth. I put up the money in good faith, and I intend to collect every penny down to the last penny. That's a beautiful guy. She brought about a kind of social revolution in real life. If you sell to me privately, your debt will be settled once and for all. Until that moment, women of that age were not seen as powerful, were not seen as sexy. Oh, I don't just want anything, please. I want everything. Come in again. Alexis was a master at words, and used them well and used them cuttingly. And usually they were used against soppy Crystal, wife of her ex-hubby Blake. Crystal really used to get on, on my tits, because uh, she was so squeaky clean, and you just really wanted to kick her in the teeth at the end of the day. But Alexis preferred the verbals to violence. Oh no, you're jealous because Stalin's had her baby, and that's made you even more paranoid. She just kind of outwitted her. I think Crystal was unfortunately just too dumb. Well, this is quite finished. I haven't. She gets what she wants, and she doesn't care who she steps on to get that. None of us can afford to do that in reality. Who cares about reality? This was pure adolescent fantasy. I guess it's a primeval thing. There's always a chance that the blouse might rip. It might be a bit of spillage, which in Jane Collins' case would yeah, it'd be no bad thing. <laughs> they never hurt themselves when they had such massive hair, the huge shoulder pads that it always had guaranteed a soft landing. Crystal had the muscle, didn't she? She'd really sort of get in there and really... She would all Alexis until she was, like, literally on the floor. But she usually saved her pants for the boys. She just always looked so ready for bed, didn't she? Evil people are almost automatically kind of sexy. Like, ooh, ooh, that's kind of, ooh, that's interesting. What would that be like? That's your mother you're talking about. Alexis treated men like a steamroller on concrete. She'll make love to you and then you'll be eaten in the night and nobody will know where you went. But one man was up for the challenge. The smooth-talking, absurdly named Dex Dex.